Have you ever wondered why Industry 4.0 is such a hot topic in the business world today? Well, it's because the fourth industrial revolution, also known as Industry 4.0, is transforming the way businesses operate, bringing with it a wave of new opportunities and challenges. To help navigate this ever-changing landscape, here are 10 lessons for a successful implementation of Industry 4.0 using socio-technical systems theory. This is based on research by Michael Sony and Subhash Naik, published with the title, Industry 4.0 Integration with Socio-Technical Systems Theory, a Systematic Review and Proposed Theoretical Model. First lesson, align integration with organizational strategy. It's crucial to ensure that any integration efforts align with the strategic goals of the organization. Understanding how integration can help achieve these goals is the driving force behind successful implementation. Second lesson, consider stakeholder interests. The interests of various stakeholders, including employees, customers, suppliers, and regulatory bodies, must be taken into account. It's essential to remember that protecting these interests is vital for successful integration. Third lesson, compliance with regulatory frameworks is a must. All integration initiatives must comply with the regulatory frameworks under which the organization operates. Remember, non-compliance can lead to legal and financial risks. Fourth lesson, cultural considerations play a significant role. Organizational culture can greatly impact integration efforts. Any cultural changes resulting from integration should be managed strategically and gradually. The fifth lesson is that local context matters. Different geographic locations may respond differently to integration initiatives due to cultural differences. Therefore, it's important to adapt integration strategies accordingly. Sixth lesson, resource management. The acquisition and deployment of infrastructure and technology required for integration must be managed carefully. It's essential to consider the financial circumstances of the organization and allocate resources judiciously. The seventh lesson is skills development. Integration may require employees to acquire new skills and update existing ones. It's crucial to develop a human resource strategy that aligns with the evolving needs of the organization. The eighth lesson is about collaboration and cooperation. Fostering collaboration and cooperation among different organizational subsystems is a key success factor. Remember, integration should not disrupt the workflow, but enhance it. Ninth lesson, end-to-end -end thinking. Embracing end-to-end -end integration as a way to add value across the entire product or service lifecycle is a smart move. Make sure that all stages from customer requirements to production are seamlessly connected. Tenth lesson, meta-integration. This involves recognizing the importance of vertical, horizontal, and end-to-end -end integration working together as a system of systems. This integration approach should be holistic, self-regulating, and aligned with organizational goals and stakeholder interests. To sum it all up, these 10 lessons aim to assist organizations in navigating the complexities of Industry 4.0 integration more effectively and achieving the desired outcomes. It's important to approach Industry 4.0 as a strategic and holistic transformation that encompasses people, technology, culture, processes, and organizational goals. When done correctly, the Industry 4.0 can open up a world of opportunities for businesses to grow and thrive in the digital age.